Hey, this is Pat Murphy Racy. I'm out here shooting some uh, high school football today. You might notice the lens I'm using is kind of old school. And uh, this is a 70 to 400 uh, A-mount lens uh, that was made for the older A-mount cameras. And today, uh, if you look real close, you'll see that I'm actually shooting a brand new adapter called the LEA-5. This adapter is designed to be able to bring together two worlds that are pretty separate right now. The world of the A-mount glass and the world of the E-mount cameras. So it is now possible to pretty seamlessly use not just SSM lenses like this, but also the older screw mount uh, lenses that reach back into Sony's earliest days and into, and, and into Minolta as well. With the announcement of this uh, on September 1st, which is in a couple days away, it will be possible for a, a, a large complement of A-mount glass owners and shooters to enjoy the E-mount bodies. So like right now I'm using the A9 II uh, on the older A-mount um, full frame uh, 70 to 400 zoom. So I'll be posting some images that I shoot from the game today and we'll go from there. So stay with me. Thanks. For most of you that are E-mount users already and are shooting E-mount cameras, this is not maybe a big deal for you. But for those of you that have been loyal A-mount users since maybe even the Minolta days, this is a big deal because you're going to be able to take advantage of um, the most innovative autofocus system the world's ever seen, uh, real-time tracking. So this little guy brings um, real-time tracking to uh, the 85 1.4 Zeiss lens that was made so long ago. It's a great lens, got an awesome reputation. Um, this lens is a fantastic lens. It's good and heavy for those of you who like heavy stuff. Um, but this lens was it, was, it was impossible to use this lens with autofocus because it has a screw drive feature. Uh, so on the back of the lens, uh, there's this little thing right there. I'm not sure, hopefully you can see this with this new camera. But there's a little screw hole thing. And in the A-mount bodies, there was literally like a little miniature screwdriver that would come out of the lens flange and connect to that little round thing and it would drive the autofocus back and forth. Uh, in the helicoid. And so now, for the very first time, you can take an A9 II with this and use it on a 500 f4, uh, on the 3028, on the 70 to 400 uh, 56 lens. Um, these are some of the favorites. And then on the portrait side of things, if you're like a portrait shooter, the 85 14 was always one of my favorites, as well as this guy. Oh, this lens has such an awesome reputation. This is the original 135 1.8 uh, Zeiss lens. All right, so we have this running back picture. I like this because it shows him running in traffic. He's behind a bunch of people, but the real-time tracking on the A92 is able to figure out how to keep him in focus uh, with the 70 to 400 lens. Pretty impressive. Uh, this is a big blow up of a just a defenseman trying to get at a running back, and he's coming in late and he's flying literally. Uh, this is a nice feature when you're doing, uh, you know, a field goal attempt. You can put, um, you know, the kicker way off on the right side of the frame and be certain that he's going to be sharp no matter what happens on the left side of the frame. So it's really nice to be able to have a confidence in this to do this with that 70 to 400 A mount glass with the LAEA5. Uh, this was a broken up pass, you know, two defenders on one uh, receiver and... Uh, Made a nice picture. Um, notice I zoomed out to 140 millimeter here. Also note my uh, ISO. I'm in a 400 ISO and it's a day game. It's a noon start game. But I, I have got to do that in order to keep that shutter speed high. It's actually not very high. I'd like to have it higher. Here's another running back. This is Deion Sanders' son. And this is uh, just a nice little tackle picture. This is probably 8th mm, or 10th of the frame blow up from the A92. And again, this is the A92 with the LAEA5 adapter, which is brand new. And um, this is the 70 to 400 millimeter 5.6 A mount lens. Here's a nice, uh, inter uh, not an interception, but a reception. 
Um, I'm not crazy about, you know, how much I can see back here. It's very complicated, but you can see a sharp difference between this and everything else. Uh, 4028 would have cleaned this up more, but it's just cool to get the picture. Um, and while it's not as fast to acquire as the, you know, the 400 GM and the 600 GM, um, it's pretty cool to be able to like get, get, just nail stuff like this with an adapted lens. It's pretty impressive. A little running back action. He's looking for a path in. I love this because like the uh, defensive player is actually pulling his pants down. <laughs> and it's nice to have the reaction and faces and stuff, you know. It's always good. Face. Uh, I put this in here because it's important to remind everybody that, you know, you don't get everything in a game. Uh, I've been I've been shot a lot of football games in my career, but I still make pictures like this all the time. And I make fuzzballs and I shoot the wrong thing or whatever and uh, it happens to the best of us so don't be discouraged if you do that uh, again I like to shoot defense as well as just offense a lot of photographers only follow the ball and sometimes you really miss pictures on defense this is kind of a neat picture because um, it's ne it's Deion Sanders the coach of the team and then this is his son it's the quarterback throwing the ball downfield so it's kind of cool to get all that together in one frame. And, of course, he's really sharp, and he's a little bit out because he's just too far away. Um, so it's nice. This is a real quick uh, pass that was received. I wasn't quite at 400 millimeter. You can see I'm at 360, uh, 56, 2,500 of a second. But also, look, at it's a bright, sunny day, and I'm at 800 ISO. And that's just what you got to do sometimes to keep that shutter speed up high. This is the night game now. Uh, so we've switched away from the 70 to 400 A mount lens, and now we're using the 300 millimeter 2.8 A mount lens. It's an SSM2 lens with LAEA5 on the A92. Uh, my A92 is still set to the normal settings that I use for everything, literally everything, which is tracking, flexible spot, medium, and it has no problem picking this uh, guy out of the crowd. Or this running back running downfield. Just look how sharp that is. You can really see the blades of grass, the fake grass. And 4028 just cleans things up, or excuse me, a 3028 cleans things up so nicely compared to the 56 zoom. Um, but this is kind of nice a face mask and a tackle happening all at once. I love this because this is, this is just cool. So it's getting darker. It's 2500 ISO now. I'm still at 2500th of a second at 28. But look at all the expressions I've got. I've got a face here, I've got a face here, I've got a face here, and a face here. And that's just a great day, and i got a ball. So that's huge. So I'm kind of proud of that one. Here he is running out of traffic, trying to find a way downfield. And very, very sharp. You can see, you know, such easy definition here in the helmet. Uh, you know, this is, he's clearly out of focus, he's out of focus, but the focus is right where you want it, which is really good. It's just nice to see this with an old school lens on a new school camera. Here's uh, Oak Ridge busting out, looking downfield, and of course, he's out, he's out, and he's in. It looks really good. And notice it's 5,000 ISO, it's getting dark out there now, but I'm still staying at 2,500 of a second. And again, this is 6400 ISO. It's getting darker still. Uh, it's now 726 p.m. Uh, but I'm still at 2500. So don't be stingy. If you got an A9 or an A92, uh, for God's sakes, if you got an A7S3, you can use crazy shutter speeds and keep that action stopped. Um, you know, by just raising the ISO. Don't be afraid if you're shooting Sony. It's it's okay. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> And by the way, this is my favorite quarterback thing, is to have a one-finger release. Um, the index finger is usually the last finger to leave the ball, depending on how the quarterback holds the ball. And it's just kind of neat to, to get this. And to be able to get this with an older lens on a newer camera is kind of cool. Uh, this is a fuzz ball. I'm not sharp on this guy. Um, this was an interception. And uh, I think it's actually sharp about where he is or maybe slightly behind him. But... Still kind of a good frame. It was a big turning point in the game, and um, so I, I stuck it in there anyway. Uh, this was an almost fumble. He actually let go of it when this guy hit him, and then he, he recaptured the ball and fell down. So no worries. 
All right, now we're going to shift gears away from the A92. This is the, um, the A7R4 with version uh, software version 1.20. I can't stress enough, you must, you must upgrade the firmware in the A6600 as well as in the A7R4 in order to get this LAEA5 to work properly with the older lenses. So this is the 135 1.8 Zeiss lens from the A-mount days, and it's real sharp. And look what it's doing in the background. I mean, these steps are literally right behind her a few feet when they're fuzzballs. And this is what's the beautiful thing about the 135 is. I love it. I love it. Here's just another frame with the 135. Um, just really beautiful. The light's nice. You know, I'm using a soft box here. Um, one thousandth of a second, 1.8, 200 ISO. And the eyes are tack sharp there. It's really, really cool. Um, this is kind of neat. Um, just had her kind of dancing uh, a little bit. Uh, to the cure, I think it was. This is Bailey McCall. She's fantastic to work with. If you are ever in New York City or in Knoxville, she kind of lives in two places right now and um, very talented young lady and a great model. Can't say enough good things about her. Um, but anyway, this is her kind of having a little dance and um, another frame, kind of cool, showing off her tats. <laughs> Uh, this is um, the 8514 wide open, 1600th of a second, um, and of course using high speed sync. Um, here's Bailey in a costume change, um, kind of doing a little dance and having some fun. I want to point something out here too. Um, you know, the A mount glass is really, really sharp, but it is not G Master glass. Um, here is. The, the dreaded purple fringing. It's all over her hair. It's on the sweater. It's on her fingers. Uh, it's on the top here. You can really see this purple fringing. It's it's pretty severe. And, you know, this is why it, it you know, if this bothers you, <laughs> this is why you buy G Master 135.18 instead of the A-mount. Um, so, but man, I tell you, there's a quality of, of the A-mount glass especially if you're shooting black and white. Like, I would rather use an A-mount lens, I think, uh, in this focal length 135. If, I'm gonna, if I know the project is going to be all black and white, it has a slightly different look than the G Master glass does, and that look is valuable. And uh, So anyway, I digress. But uh, here's the last frame. This is the 85 1.4, a wide open, of course, 2,000th of a second, um, and it is sharp. And, uh, you know, I, I did lots and lots of frames of Bailey. I did lots of frames of football. But of all the stuff I did with Bailey, and keep in mind the A7R4 cannot focus as quickly or as accurately as the A9 or A92. It's not even the same ballpark. But I had no problem with her, even when she was dancing by the car, um, which reminds me, I'm going to go back and show you one other thing. Um, if you look here closely, I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit on her necklace. And there's the purple fringing again. So where you ever see these big bright highlights, that's where you're going to see the purple fringing coming in. Now that might not bother some of you, and that's cool if it doesn't, but just be aware that it does happen. Um, so that's the last frame, and we'll go back to the video. Thanks. And through the LA EA5 uh, specifications. So uh, I'm not going to be showing any more pictures, so... If you only like to look at pictures like I do, you might want to just go to the next video. Um, uh, basically, the LAEA5 is going to give full compatibility um, to a couple of cameras, uh, which is pretty exciting. Um, namely, the A7R4 and the A6600, so like the, the large, big megapixel, 61 megapixel camera in full frame, and the most recent... Um, a6600, the APS-C camera, these both cameras are going to be able to use the LAEA5 and they're going to be able to achieve autofocus with any A-mount or E-mount lens. Really cool because you couldn't do that before at all. Even the LAEA3, uh, which was the best way to do adaptive lenses before, could not do anything with a motorless lens or the screw drive lens. So now 
this new five gives a whole bunch of cameras the capability to autofocus those lenses that couldn't do it before, which is pretty pretty cool. Okay, another thing that's very important to note is that some of the cameras have capability, but only if you do the firmware update. So like last night I had to do the firmware update on my Asa on R4 to go to version 1.2 uh, in order to get the LAEA5 to work with the screw drive lenses. Um, it worked great, um, as you could see. But um, just make sure that you're looking at that. Um, I believe there's also uh, an A6600 firmware update. So you'll need to kind of look at that um, before you should expect to get autofocus with screw, screwdrive lenses or the SSMs. Really the big news here is that real-time tracking and real-time IAF is coming into uh, use with A-mount glass, which is pretty outstanding. I'm really happy that Sony is not just looking at the future all the time, but they're looking at the present and the past. And by doing this, they're bringing together two massive groups of lenses, the huge group of A-mount glass, which has been large for a long, long time, which also would include everything that Minolta made prior to that in autofocus since the Maxim, and then everything that's E-mount that's available for us now. So now we kind of merge these two together with E-mount bodies using the LAEA5 adapter. It's pretty cool. Most of my videos, if not all of them, have been designed for E-mount shooters. Um, this one is different, um, so you should feel free to, if you're, if you're not an A-mount shooter, this may not be of any interest to you at all. Um, but if you're an A-mount shooter and you've been kind of angry at Sony for not making, like, updating things, this is kind of cool because it lets you get the cutting-edge camera bodies from the E-mount system that will work with your existing A-mount glass. And that's a big, big plus for many of you that are so devoted and loyal to A-mount.